There it is, Hearst ham beans. We're gonna have us a feast tonight. Are y'all tired of turkey? All the leftovers, it's just so much you can do with them. I think we should move on, leave Thanksgiving behind, and what are we talking about? 15 bean soup. Don't get no better than that. A full meal right here in a package. You know, we're really proud to, to have Hearst Ham Beans sponsor this video. These are for bean loving people. Everybody that likes a bean, your favorite bean is in this sack. It is. And more than that, there is a flavor packet inside. because somebody says, well, I was going to make some beans, but I didn't have a recipe or I don't remember the recipe. You have got the recipe in the sack, folks. There's just a unique blend of flavor that comes from all these beans. Now, I grew up, only thing we ever eat was pinto beans. We'd have a lima bean on occasion, a navy bean on occasion. There's so much flavor that each bean brings into this. I'm not a bean fan, Whoa. but I feel like I could find at least one bean in there that I Hey, like. there is some beans in there to please the pickiest bean eater in the world. They are 75 years they've been doing beans. These folks know some beans, I guarantee you that. I was tucked in my saddlebags, warming and nourishing our ham beans by Hearst. They're my favorite send house. But I am going to cowboy it up. I am. I'm going to get me some dried chilies in there to bring about some of that Mexican flavor that I love. But we just want to get enough water in that pot that you're just covering them beans to start out with. We're going to put it over medium heat and go to town. While them beans is coming on up to a simmer, it is time to assemble what gonna go in there first. Now to me, I've always seasoned beans at intervals when we start. Now there's enough water in there, just about this much to cover up them beans, but as you cook beans along, you're gonna have to add a little water to them on occasion. But we're gonna start out with guajillo chilies because there's a nutty flavor that comes out in there, a little bit of smoke, and we're gonna see if we can crumble them. The wind today is blowing how much in? I mean, 85. 85. It is going pretty good, it is. So we're gonna see if we can get these mashed up before they blow away. These are gonna rehydrate in there and bring us a deep, dark, red, richer color. And that's what we're after. So two garlic cloves in there, and you just go to mashing them in here, and we want them to get blended in with that chili flavor we do. But guess what? You got to have some hog meat to go in there too. I've got probably four to five slices of bacon here, something like that. And I just like to cube them in sort of pieces, about so. But if you got a ham hock, smoked hog jowl, whatever you want to put in there. Now, the meat I'm going to pair up with is today that's really going to help bring these beans into a complete meal to me. And that is from a previous video we did, our Mexican bratwurst sausage. Oh my gosh, folks, smoked up all good with some great flavors in there. Slice that up as them beans get closer to getting done. Let all that smoke and that goodness of sausage just blend right in there. But let's get this in the pot so it can go to adding flavor. have been simmering along here and we have reached what I call a pretty good boil now, probably about 30 minutes into this process. I always keep me when I'm making beans, I either got hot water on the stove or hot water on Bertha. That way I'm not, what? Shocking them beans thinking, are we going swimming or are we in the hot tub? Which one is it today? So keep you some warm water going. I just try to keep enough in here to keep them beans just simmering along. Just keep enough water above them to where we're not just a bunch of broth and liquid, but it's gonna cook down to be just right. There's just something about these beans as they begin to cook and just begin to cook down that they, to me, nearly automatically thicken as they're going along. But I never season beans to what? Right about right now is the right time. So I figure we've been on about 35 minutes we have. What? Hearst Ham Beans flavor packet. Gotta have it, folks, cause that's what's gonna make things good. 
If we can get it in here without the wind blowing it away, it'll be a miracle. They even got one over there that what? Is a Cajun bean. You'll be liking that because it's got Cajun spices in it. But to that, remember I told you we was going to cowboy them up a little? I have ground me up some ancho chili. There's sort of a chocolate cocoa-y taste here that comes about, but you get that smoke flavor as well. We're just going to let her keep on cooking. Always remember, you can cover these, speed the process up a little, but don't forget to check on these beans. Stir them every once in a while because I have always known that sometimes in a pot there's one bean that's lazy and he wants to lay down there at the bottom and then he gets burnt and one burnt bean will ruin a pot of beans if it gets a chance. So don't think this is a walk-off method. We're going to probably cook these total time to get them good and done and tender the way we want them. You're probably looking at two to two and a half hours depending on your altitude. Bean Tips 101, things you should know before you go to the store to buy yourself some beans. Number one, how many people are you planning on feeding? One pound of bean, gonna feed about 10 hungry cowboys. Now, when you go to add meat to it or anything like that, you can increase your odds by about maybe one, two, or three. But always try to have plenty of beans because beans to me are even better the next day warmed up. It just seems like they always get good. Now, where are you cooking them at? Are you at sea level or are you at 9,000 foot? Down here at sea level, Bertha can cook a pot of beans in about 45 minutes, but you get to 4,000 on up to 9,000, you might want to soak them beans. You need to soak with ice cold water because beans can sour if they're in a hot temperature. I have poured them in a Yeti ice chest, put ice in there to let them soak, then rinsed them dump them back in the pot, add water, and cook them. But about four hours is a pretty good soaking time. But when I was at 8,500 foot, when I was guiding elk hunters, I would soak beans sometime overnight to where I could make sure that I was gonna cook them beans and they were gonna get tender. So people have told me, you know, sometimes I get a little gassy when I'm eating beans. But I heard an old man on a ranch tell me one time, you can take a whole russet potato, drop it in a pot of beans, add a little soda to that, cook them beans, the potato and the soda will soak up all the gas. Don't eat the tater, folks. You blow up. I'm telling you, that thing's like TNT. It's going to let you go. Say you burnt one of them. Hey, you got two burnt beans laying in the bottom of the pot. I found out something that sort of takes the burn out, but helps too if you oversalt them beans. That is corn masa. Just use it like you were going to use it if you were making like a corn starch to thicken something, but also a tablespoon of peanut butter. You can take that peanut butter, put in them beans, it'll soak up some of that burnt flavor to where you ain't lost nothing. But remember, buy quality beans. And what kind of beans are we buying? 15 bean soup beans. That's what we're doing from the Hearst Bean Company because you know them are gonna be right and you're gonna be the bean queen and the bean king from now on. been on about probably close to 40 minutes now and I, I want to show you a little something so you'll know when it's time to add the rest of the goodness now I look for one of them pinto beans who that one is hot but get him up here to where I'm gonna let Shan zoom in here see that bean is the skin is cracked when it reaches the air that's a good sign that we're going to season but he's still just a little bit hard so he likes just a little getting plumb done we've had to add some water to it Make sure that you remember to stir it. It is time to add some meat to the pot, it is. Like I was telling y'all in that previous video that we did that Mexican bratwurst, and you, could, you wouldn't have to use this, but go back and watch that video. It goes great in these beans. You could use a cabalsa, you could use any smoked sausage that you want. You could use ground meat in there. But let's just get them all in there at this time because that's when this really needs to go to flavoring up with them beans. Remember I said we was gonna cowboy this up even more. So we gotta have some good hatch green chilies from the Fresh Chili Company and us it is. And we're gonna add, I would say about four tablespoonfuls cause I wanna make sure that I know it's in there. So we are gonna give it a stir. And folks, this is when things are gonna try to thicken up even just a little bit more. So keep that hot water handy. You're gonna have to have it. And now we just like to that process to where we're cooking to where them beans are getting really good and tender. And everything will be warm through. Mm. 
That dog will hunt right there. I mean, he'll go up to a bean tree and he'll point like, whoop, there's a whole covey of beans in that tree. I am ready to eat me some of these. Happy meal right there in a bowl. Remember, one pot meal, one sack meal, you can't beat this deal, you can't. Now I'm gonna let them beans cool just a little before I slap them in my mouth, but you know, being able to cook for cowboys and on some really, really hard conditions at time, I can remember back in 2001 in the Paladura Canyon, and I'd seen cowboys right out that morning and I'd heard the weatherman say, hey, gonna come blue norther today and that old dirt is gonna blow. And I mean about, Right after they rode out after lunch, I remember old Cody Lewis turned around and looked at me and he said, I hope we gonna have some beans for supper, Kent. I said, we'll do her, my friend. By two o'clock, the sky was so dark that I lit a lantern under the fly just because the dirt was blowing so bad. And I had walls all the way around the fly, but it was just a rolling cloud of dust everywhere, black. And then I remember sort of hearing it settle there about seven. Cowboys was coming in, and old Cody Lewis come through there under the fly, and he said, Kent, it's always looked good to see that wagon, but it never looked as good as it did today. I got tired of choking dust, and I'm so glad you're here, and you got us something hot to eat. And them boys eat a lot of beans. Always know that beans are a great comfort food. And them boys been out there in that dirt storm all day, fighting that cold and that old dirt just sticking to them everywhere. We're gonna make them comfortable tonight, gonna feed them some beans. Folks, that's what you can do with this meal. I hope you ain't cooking in a dirt storm, but hey, I'd be really liking to serve mine with cornbread, like I said. Man, I would take me a knife and I would cut that cornbread right down the middle, pour that beans and cornbread over there. You get you a green onion and go to town. This is five star dining right here and it all come to you in one sack and one pot. I got some good help in camp today, I really have. Big and Mage. Who wants to be first? Can you sit, Big? Sit down there for me, buddy. Good job, and you wait, okay? I'm gonna feed the Schnauzer first, but I want you to wait. You got good manners. Thank you so much, and since you was so good, you're gonna get an extra bite. There you go. Mage, you don't get no more, you're on a diet. Now me, I'm gonna have me a bite. Give me some of that good 15 bin soup, some of that good Mexican sausage that I made. Mm. That right there will make you do the 15 bean shuffle. It will. Now you gotta have 15 steps in this. A one, a two, a three, four, five, a six, a seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, back to the beans we are. But a big shout out, a big thank you to Hearst Ham Beans for sponsoring this video. You can find them in the dry bean section at your favorite grocery store or you can order them online. These are some of the best beans you're ever gonna find but it is with great pride, honor, and privilege that I tip my hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag flying over camp. Rest of you, come on in here quick. Come on, cause I'm getting hungry and I ain't gonna fight the beagle off. God bless you each and every one and I'll see you down the best bean trail. As you can see when I stir in them beans, beans, yep. Slow all the way around. Beans for breakfast, beans for supper, beans in the middle. We had to have some beans. Hey, even that wasp on your hat likes beans. Yes, he does love some beans too. That right there will make you do it. Oh my gosh, oh, hang on a minute. Mm. <laughs> What's the peso dollar? I'm peso dollar, singing about those delicious N.K. Hearst packaged ham beans. Here you go. As I ride herd on my doggy I cook for a lot of cowboys and fed a lot of beans, but I've never seen somebody dressed up like these two kids and a guy walk into camp with a guitar. But I think I'm sort of liking it, so we're just gonna see what happens. Cause tucked in my saddlebags, warming and nourishing our ham beans by Hearst. They're my favorite send house. Yes, sir. Hearst ham beans. With a little packet of ham flavored in each bag. Cook them like you always do, and about two minutes before they're done, tear open the packet and stir in that delicious ham flavor. Did you see that? Them kids lick this thing clean. Here, Here I, I thought, thought I was, I was singing, singing for, for my, my supper, supper. <laughs> not theirs. <laughs>
Oh my goodness. Check them boots out. Wing tip boots. Now when they sharp pointed like that, we used to call them bug killers. Cause I mean, you get a bug in a corner of a room and you could kick him with toe of them boots. But uh, hey, them was in style back then. It was pretty fancy.